गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सर विना त्रिपाठी वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टू एम गोट एक्सप्लेन यू इन जोग्राफी चैप्टर एट नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज सी स्टूडेंट्स प्यूस चैप्टर सेवन वी हैव लर्न रॉक्स एंड रॉक्स टाइप्स एंड सी स्टूडेंट्स फिगर एट पॉइंट वन यू कैन सी द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लावर प्लांट एंड फ्रूट्स एनिमल्स आर देयर कैन यू सी दैट सी स्टूडेंट्स लीजर्ड मैंगो फ्रूट फ्लावर कॉटन ऑक्टोपस हॉर्स ओके ऑब्जर्व एंड थिंक अबाउट द पिक्चर्स गिवन इन द फिगर एट पॉइंट वन एंड आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वन इज वॉट डू यू सी इन द पिक्चर स्टूडेंट्स दैट मीन्स यू सी द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी ऑफ दिस एनिमल्स और प्लांट डू यू नो स्टूडेंट्स सो दैट मीन्स यू नो दैट ऑल दिस एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स इन द गिवन पिक्चर ओके स्टूडेंट्स यू नो ना ऑल दिस एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज थर्ड वन विच ऑफ दिस थिंग्स हैव यू सीन इन रियलिटी स्टूडेंट्स सो यू कैन यू हैव सीन दैट इन रियलिटी दैट मीन्स मैंगो फ्रूट हॉर्स एंड कॉटन ओके सो ये दैट यू कैन सी दैट इन द रियलिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हैव यू एवर यूज दिस थिंग्स और सीन दैम बींग यूज स्टूडेंट्स येस यू हैव विच ऑफ अवर नीड्स डू सम ऑफ दिस फुलफिल्स सो सी स्टूडेंट यू ऑल नो दैट हॉर्स कार्ट सो हॉर्स इज यूज इन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ओके and see students mango mango is a fruit we eat okay and cotton is used to make cloth okay students and the next one is what probable use of use of the unused things can you think of students so that means uh, see students in the picture octopus octopus can be kept in aquarium okay and uh, see that uh, lizard lizard can be kept in the garden to eat tiny insects okay students explanation we see many things on the earth some of these are quite familiar to us however we do not necessarily use all of them we have learned to use some of the things that are available in nature for example water so see students that means we are living on the earth planet okay and see students so we see many things on the earth and some of these are quite familiar to us and you know students however we do not necessarily use all of them we have learned to use some of the things that are available in nature for example water you all know that water is very important to us okay students the natural things that man uses are called natural resources so see students you know that what is nature what is called a natural resources students that means the natural things that man uses are called natural resources man fulfill his needs using this natural resources and see students all human beings man are fulfill his needs using this natural resource example air water soil land minerals plant and animals are all natural resources and see students suppose question what are the all, what are the means uh, all natural resources are there so yeah, answer will be there air water soil land minerals plant and animals are all natural resources and man fulfill his need using this natural resources students most of the natural resources are limited in nature therefore they are invaluable and see students most of the natural resources are limited in nature and therefore students they are invaluable okay students of this air in such a resource that it is available in plenty this resource never depletes however its quality can change we need air for various purposes rights from breathing to burning and see students you all know that air is very important to us okay students and uh, see students of this air is such a resource that is that it is available in plenty and this resource never depletes students however its quality can change okay we need air air for various purpose students right from breathing to burning okay students figure 8.2 to 8.13 give us an idea about how we use some of the natural resources so see students we have to observe the picture so that means figure 8.2 to 8.13 it will give us an idea about how we use some of the natural resources okay students and what is natural resources students that means what is called a natural resources that means the natural things that man uses are called natural resources okay students see students figure 8.2 to 8.13 it give us an idea about how we use some of the natural resources okay students so see students figure 8.2 that is agriculture 
सो इन दिस वॉट इज नेचुरल रिसोर्स डेट इज सॉइल ओके एट पॉइंट थ्री डेट इज फिशिंग ए मैन कॉट द फिश स्टूडेंट्स एट पॉइंट फोर डेट इज कलेक्शन ऑफ हनी एट पॉइंट फाइव डेट इज ड्रॉइंग वाटर डेट इज मैन इज रिमूविंग द वाटर फ्रॉम द वेल एट पॉइंट सिक्स डेट इज गैदरिंग वुड एट पॉइंट सेवन स्टूडेंट्स माइनिंग एट पॉइंट एट एमेजॉन एट वर्क फिगर एट पॉइंट नाइन दैट इज एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ सॉल्ट एट पॉइंट टेन दैट इज कलेक्शन ऑफ रबर लेटेक्स एट पॉइंट इलेवन दैट इज गैदरिंग ऑफ रेसिन फ्रॉम ट्रीज एंड एट पॉइंट ट्वेल्व दैट इज विंड मिल एंड लास्ट वन इज एट पॉइंट थर्टीन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बाई ए पैक एनिमल ओके स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू टेल ऑब्जर्व ऑल द फिगर्स फ्रॉम एट पॉइंट टू टू एट पॉइंट थर्टीन एंड डिस्कस दैम इन द क्लास इट इज नेसेसरी डैट ईच ऑफ द थिंग्स शोन इज कंसिडर्ड फॉर दिस यूज द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स सो सी स्टूडेंट सम क्वेश्चन आर देयर फर्स्ट वन इज वॉट डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज आर द इंडिविजुअल इन द पिक्चर एंगेज इन सो सी स्टूडेंट्स डेट मीन देर डिफरेंट टाइप्स एक्टिविटीज आर देयर डेट इंडिविजुअल इन द पिक्चर आर एंगेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल एग्रीकल्चर फिशिंग कलेक्शन ऑफ हनी ड्रॉइंग वाटर गैदरिंग वुड माइनिंग एक्सट्रक्शन ऑफ सॉल्ट कलेक्शन ऑफ रबर लेटेक्स गैदरिंग ऑफ रेजिन फ्रॉम ट्रीज एंड कन्वर्टिंग विंड इन टू यूजेबल एनर्जी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बाई पैक एनिमल्स एमेजॉन एट वर्क ओके स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट थिंग्स विल दे ऑप्टेन थ्रू दिस एक्टिविटी स्टूडेंट्स सो दैट मीन्स वी विल ऑप्टेन फूड दैट मीन्स विद हेल्प ऑफ द एग्रीकल्चर वी ऑप्टेन द फूड ग्रेन फिशरमैन कॉट द फिश हनी वॉटर वूड मिनरल्स हाउस टू लिव सॉल्ट रबर रेसिन एंड एनर्जी विच कैन बी यूज फॉर वेरियस पर्पज ओके स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट वन इज वॉट आर द एनिमल्स इन द पिक्चर डूइंग स्टूडेंट्स सो यू नो दैट बुलक आर फ्लोइंग द फील्ड द डोंकी यूज एज ए पैक एनिमल्स फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग हैवी लोड आफ्टरवर्ड्स वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ द टॉल डिवाइस इन फिगर एट पॉइंट ट्वेल्व rest on the ground so see students the tall device is a wind mill which convert wind into usable energy through the rotation of wheel which are adjustable the energy thus created can be used for a variety of purpose such as generating electricity grinding grain or spice pumping water sawing wood etc okay students next one is what is being loaded in a truck what are we going to get from it so see students in this truck can you see that picture students that is figure 8.7 mining so in this truck rock is being loaded into a truck from the mining area we get mineral from the same and the last one is where are all this human activities being performed other than fishing students that means all these human activities are being performed on land okay students explanation in some of the figure man is shown doing different task each of the task is related to some resource let us consider each of these resources so see students in figure 8.2 what you have seen the students a man is flowing the land okay student that means man is seen flowing the land the farmer flow the soil layer and make the land cultivable in this cultivable land he grow various crops and fulfill his own and others needs for food and see students you know that farmers are work hard okay and he first he make the land cultivable and afterwards on that land he was growing the very different types of crops and this way he fulfill his own and others needs for food that means different types of food grains we are getting for this purpose he uses the soil that is naturally available on land as a resource and see students soil is used students all over the world and therefore soil is a very important resource for agriculture and that means students soil is used all over the world and therefore we can say that soil is a very important resource for agriculture okay students soil formation mainly depends on the original rock climate organic components slope of the land and time according to the types of rocks and climates in different regions different types of soils are formed A long period is required for the formation of mature soil as it is a very slow process a period of about 8000 of years may be required for development of a 2.5 cm thick layer of soil 
सो सी स्टूडेंट्स सॉइल इज़ ए नेचुरल रिसोर्स स्टूडेंट्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स एंड सॉइल फॉर्मेशन मेली डिपेंड्स ऑन द ओरिजिनल रॉक क्लाइमेट ऑर्गेनिक कंपोनेंट स्लोप ऑफ द लैंड एंड टाइम एंड सी स्टूडेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द टाइप्स ऑफ रॉक्स एंड क्लाइमेट्स इन डिफरेंट रीजन वी आर गेटिंग द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सॉइल्स आर फॉर्म एंड यू स्टूडेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ देयर कलर्स आर देयर ब्लैक सॉइल सैंडी सॉइल ग्रे सॉइल रेड सॉइल डेट सॉइल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कलर्स ऑल्सो देयर ओके स्टूडेंट्स एंड सी स्टूडेंट्स ए लॉन्ग पीरियड इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मैचुअल सॉइल एंड इट इज़ ए वेरी स्लो प्रोसेस एंड यू नो टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर थिक क्लेयर ऑफ सॉइल वी इट टेक पीरियड ऑफ अबाउट थाउजेंड ईयर्स मे बी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डेवलपमेंट स्टूडेंट्स ओके स्टूडेंट एट मीन्स सॉइल इज रियली वेरी मीन्स इट इज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एंड इट इज़ वेरी यूजफुल टू अस ओके स्टूडेंट्स फिगर एट पॉइंट थ्री एंड एट पॉइंट फाइव शो ए मैन कैचिंग फिश एंड अनदर ड्राइंग वाटर फ्रॉम अ वेल एंड यूर सी स्टूडेंट्स दैट मीन्स एट पॉइंट थ्री दैट इज फिशिंग कैन यू सी दैट एंड एट पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज ड्राइंग वाटर एंड सी स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पिक्चर मैन इज सीन यूजिंग द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज वाटर इज फुलफिंग हिज नीड्स एंड यू ऑल नो दैट वाटर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अस राइट फ्रॉम द टाइम वी गेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग वी कीप ऑन यूजिंग वाटर टिल वी गो टू द बेड एट नाइट each and every time we required water when we get up early in the morning to when that means so to, till we go to bed at night so we need water okay students so water is very useful to us and with without water we can't live there students water is very important and this show how important water is a, as a natural resources the entire living world depends on this resource see figure 8.9 it show how we obtain salt from sea water and see students See that figure eight point nine extractions of salt, and this you all know that salt also very important to us. We make use of salt in our day to day life. Okay, students, salt also very important to us. In a food, if salt will be not there, we can't eat the food. We can't able that means we are we can't able to eat the food because salt is very very important. Okay, students, and this way we make use of salt in our day to day life. And see, students, see this uh, figure eight point fourteen. Global water reserve and availability. Total water on the earth is hundred percent. Okay, usable water on the earth that is three percent, which we we get usable use. Water available on the earth for use that is zero point zero zero three percent. And see, students, water is available in huge quantities on earth. You all know that. Of this, a large quantity is salty water. The sea water is salty water, students. Only some quantity of the total water usable, a very much quantity that is zero point zero zero three percent of water is available for use that we are using for cooking, for bathing, and for different purpose. However, even this much water is sufficient for all of us. Understood, student? That means a very much quantity that is quantity that is zero point zero zero three percent of water is available for use, students. And however, even this. Much water is sufficient for all of us, and see this student. This figure eight point fourteen global water reserve and availability. Can you see that? Okay, students. Figure eight point six shows some individuals collecting wood from the forest. Similarly, some people are shown collecting different items in the forest like honey. Figure eight point four resin. Figure eight point ten rubber latex. Figure eight point eleven etc. So already we have observed all these students. In order to fulfill our needs, we collect various product from plant in nature. That means to fulfill our needs, we collect various product from the plant in nature. Students, these are various plants on land surface. Plants are broadly classified on grass, herbs, shrubs, and trees. And this way, students, plants are broadly classified as a grass, herbs, shrubs, and trees. Man has successfully experimented with some grasses to obtain food grain. this help him to avoid painful wandering for gathering food and this way students man has successfully experimented with some grass to obtain food grain students and this help him to avoid painful wandering for gathering food he began to live a settled life the basin of the hong hi sindhus that is indus nile and operates are some of the areas where such settlements flourished in the past we already studied this in standard 5 Okay, students. See, students. See figure. See figure eight point fifteen. Can you see that? Ancient civilization in River Valley. See in this a map. China, Hongi, Hongi. That is Hongi. That is China place. 
एंड इन द सिंधु सी दैट हरप्पा सिलाइजेशन टिग्री सी ऑपरेट डेट इज मेसोपोटामिया एंड इजिप्ट डेट इज नाइल नाइल रिवर सो ऑल दिस प्लेस एट मीन्स वी हैव स्टडीड दिस इन स्टैंडर्ड फाइव ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो ऑल दिस प्लेस दैट मीन्स इट वॉज फ्लोरिश इन द पास्ट ओके स्टूडेंट्स दैट इज एशियन सिलाइजेशन द रिवर वैली वी ऑप्टेन प्रोडक्ट लाइक वुड रबर रेसिन फ्रूट मेडिसिनल प्लांट एक्सेट्रा फ्रॉम द फॉरेस्ट एंड सी स्टूडेंट्स वी ऑल दिस थिंग्स वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम वेर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द फॉरेस्ट एग्जाम्पल वुड रबर रेसिन फ्रूट मेडिसिनल प्लांट एक्सेट्रा ऑल दिस वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम द फॉरेस्ट इफ यू कंसिडर द रीजन फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर टू द पोल एज पर द टेम्परेचर जोन वी फाइंड द फॉलोइंग टाइप्स ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन स्टूडेंट्स दैट मीन्स इक्वेटोरियल एवरग्रीन डेसीडेस ट्रॉपिकल ग्रास लैंड थॉर्नी स्क्रब्स टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड मिक्स फॉरेस्ट ब्रॉड लिफ्ट कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड तुंद्रा सी फिगर एट पॉइंट सिक्सटीन सो सी स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू सी दैट फिगर एट पॉइंट सिक्सटीन लेटीट्यूडनल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन ओके सी दैट जीरो डिग्री दैट इज इक्वेटर प्लेस इक्वेटोरियल एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट आफ्टर सी दैट डेसीडेस फॉरेस्ट फिफ्टीन डिग्री थर्टी डिग्री प्लेस सी दैट एलिफेंट यू कैन सी दैट ट्रॉपिक Tropical grasslands are there. Okay, after see that thorny scrubs. After see that forty five degree place temperate grasslands, sixty degree place mixed forest was there, and see that broad leaved forest very big trees are there. Coniferous forest seventy five degree place and last one tundra that is six ninety degree pole place. So this is your figure eight point sixteen latitudinal distributions of natural vegetation. I say students many animals make this forest their habitat. Animals who prey on the plant-eating animals also live in the forest. Prey means kill. That means animal who kill on the plant-eating animals also live in the forest. Thus, many foods can develop in the forest. Students, forest or grasslands are the habitat for many animals. It is basically due to plant that we have got animals as a natural resource. Plant also grow in water. You all know that students, plant also grow in water. It is very likely that in future. we shall have to depend on aquatic plant for fulfilling the needs of the growing human population see figure 8.17 that means students it is very likely that in future we shall have to depend on aquatic plants for fulfilling the needs of the growing human population and you can see clear cut figure 8.17 that is marine vegetation okay students and see students think related to totally cancer no need to Read this, okay? Figure eight point thirteen shows an ash carrying a load. Man makes use of animals for a variety of reasons. Students, so man make use of animals for a variety of reasons. Example: See that horse, oxen, camel, asses, etc. are the animals employed for flowing, riding, transporting goods, etc. And see, students, goat, cow, buffalo are used as a milk animals. From that, we are getting the milk. You all know that. meat egg bone powder hide etc are other product we get from animals figure 8.7 shows that rock is being loaded into a truck from the mining area students we have seen earlier that rock is a mixture of minerals so we already learned that minerals are inorganic substance that form in naturally occurring chemical processes as see students we have seen earlier that a rock is a mixture of minerals and minerals are inorganic substance students that form in naturally occurring chemical process we get different metals and chemicals from the minerals some chemicals are used in preparing different medicines minerals are generally classified as a metallic and non metallic minerals as see students metallic minerals are used for obtaining different metals such as iron bauxite etc and non metallic minerals are used in obtaining various chemicals Like gypsum, rock salt, calcite, etc. And this way, students, we get different metals and chemical from the minerals. Students, and some chemicals are used in preparing different medicines also. And see, students, minerals are generally classified two two types. That is, metallic and non-metallic minerals. And see, students, metallic minerals are used for obtaining different metals such as iron, bauxite, etc. And non-metallic minerals are often used in obtaining various chemicals. Like gypsum, rock salt, calcite, etc. Okay, students. In all the figure except for fishing, 
all the activities of of obtaining natural resources are being carried out on land okay students this means that land is also a natural resources living things that are born on land grow live and die on land itself land is an invaluable resource that is why it is sold or brought and you all know that students that means uh, living things that are born and on land grow live and die on land itself and land is an invaluable resources okay students and that is why it is sold or brought we can sold also and brought also obtaining land at strategic location using it for construction as well as trade or some other uses of this resources okay students think a little totally cancer no need to read this students depending on the characteristics like physiography soil climate minerals and availability of water in different region of the world land is used for various purposes the proportion of land on earth is 29.20 percent students okay depending on the characteristics means features of land and climate various living things are found on the land in different proportion so we can see that different living things are found on the land in different proportion the distribution of this living organisms including humans is not uniform students all living things try to adapt to the various geographical conditions like a rocky terrains steep slopes flat plain mountainous regions forest covered areas river basin etc and this way students all living things try to adapt to the various geographical conditions like a rocky terrains steep slopes flat plain mountainous regions forest covered areas river basin etc man alone attempt to make changes in the prevailing condition to suit his needs okay students every living things make use of natural resources according to its needs and see students every living things make use of natural resources okay example air water soil however man started using many of these resources for himself alone with the help of his intellectual power okay students later the increase in population and the greed of human led to exploitative use of resources afterwards what happened students when man started using many of these resources for himself alone with the help of his intellectual power then what happened afterwards students later the increase in population day by day population was increasing and the greed of the human led to exploitative use of resources man become very greedy and it make led to exploitative use of resources students this began to upset the balance in nature this means that it is necessary that man also must use the natural resources only according to his needs and in a judicious manner so we have to use that natural resource but in a judicious manner so no don't be greedy okay students and make our environment not to make our environment polluted okay students make our environment in a balance if environment is not in the balance it create lots of problems students and we have to use the natural resources properly properly don't be greedy and use in a judicious manner okay students so we are the human beings are that we have to keep in mind that all this natural resources are used to the human beings only so we have to use it properly in a judicious manner don't be greedy okay students what will you do totally cancer no need to read this always remember students man has to depend on nature for many things whatever the extent of his progress nature is not for man alone it belongs to other living things to students therefore we should always use the natural resources judicially exercise a first one what is the use of the following resource b1 question number b that is complete the following flow chart question number c answer the following question so say students all these are the assignment i am giving to you as your homework you have to read this lesson twice two times properly and write this question answer in your notebook i hope that you understood this lesson thank you